Hi friends, welcome to the Cerebellum PYQ series. We got a question in the exam in which the examiner would be giving you a clinical history and that history is very likely to be associated with formation of a particular diagnosis. For example, if we talk about the commonest anemia present in our country that happens to be iron deficiency anemia. So what are the four major pointers that you have to keep in mind for iron deficiency anemia diagnosis? Number one, in case of a child who is having a stunted growth, pallor, fatigue, and there is going to be a history of hookworm infestation. In case of an adult female, because of the menstrual loss, she is predisposed to have development of iron deficiency anemia. Adult male having a history of chronic bleeding because of a peptic ulcer disease, a history suggestive with either bleeding episodes or the presence of a chronic recurrent epigastric pain. Elderly male who is going to be having the presence of a GI malignancy, especially a colon cancer, can also be having the presence of iron loss. So all these four pointers in the history are going to be associated with iron deficiency anemia. Now how do I treat it? So definitely I have to focus on treatment of the primary cause and then to take care of the microcytic hypochromic anemia, iron supplementation has to be given. Hope this helps.